So I created a custom GTP that will create GSAP interactions for Webflow, and I'll possibly be working on other solutions as well, like a Lumos related one or any other Webflow related topics. But to use this, you do need a paid plan with chat GTP. And let's see how this works. So we'll ask it something it normally wouldn't know, like maybe what, uh, we'll say, what are the Webflow breakpoints? And when we run that, we'll notice it's gonna spit out all the Webflow breakpoints for us and what they start at. So desktop is 992 and above, tablet is between these. And so if we want to say maybe uh, run GSAP only on mobile landscape and we'll say and below. And because it knows what the Webflow breakpoints are and it knows about GSAP and all the GSAP options, it will be able to give us an example of a GSAP match media that only runs at the exact place we need it. Let's say we want a text animation. I can say animate letters inside each word, and it's gonna give us the correct split type library we need. It's gonna make sure there's no flicker initially on page load, uh, how to break up our characters, what data attributes to assign, where to put the code. And also we can give it recommendations of changes we want, like if we want it to change staggers, easings, duration. Now, anytime we have maybe a tighter line height or maybe a certain font. Sometimes if we have our words set to overflow hidden, the descenders on lowercase letters will actually get cropped, like maybe the bottom of this Y. So I've already accounted for that. We could just say something like my uh, words are getting cropped and it'll spit back my recommendation for that, which is to use some EM bottom padding followed by some negative margin to counter that out. And sometimes it can get confused and mix solutions with other things that are out there online. So if you wanna verify where this is coming from, you can say, where did you get, uh, did you get this info? and it'll tell you the exact basically file or where did it find this. Um, so in this case, it's coming from the split text text file that I uploaded. So if we just add the, that file name back in here, it will return the original file that I have added here. So if you wanna go through all the options and all the different animation types that are available, you can just grab the original file. I'm really excited about the learning opportunities with this too. If we wanna know the difference between an each versus amount stagger and GSAP, we can say each versus amount. It's gonna to explain to us the difference between those two with examples for each. Usually in tutorials, I only have enough time to explain things one way, but if this isn't making sense, you can just have it regenerate the answer for you. It will explain the same concept in just a different way, and we can even test it with our own sort of state here. So I might say that I have four images total. The stagger is set to each 0.5 seconds. Each image is gonna fade over one second. What's the total duration on my animation? And it'll walk me through the steps of why is it this duration, and also give me the final answer for that here. So it's just a really great way to learn in real time. It also kind of develops what feels like a mind of its own. I know it's not really, but if I say something like why use GSAP, I actually never told it anything about why to use GSAP, but it starts listing out some things based on the type of content I have in here, like smooth scrolls or, or text animations. And it's basically pulling this all out based on the type of things I've uploaded. I plan to keep adding to this with the most common types of questions you ask. Like if we ask it, why are scroll trigger markers are starting too early on the page? It will say, ensure all images have an aspect ratio. That's because Webflow images are lazy loaded by default and also walk us through another option we have for that. So it's really gonna be tailored around GSAP and Webflow specific content, at least for this GTP. I hope you enjoy it. I'll leave it in the description below.